I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. Wow, the way I said hi. Apologies. Hi. <laughs> Together we're our time of the month. And today we're talking trash. Uh-huh, always. Well, yeah. We always talk trash. Yes, yeah, so we save up all of our beauty garbage for forever and then eventually show it to you. So that's what we're doing today. If you have been here before, Thanks for coming back. Uh, thanks for coming back. Then you already know. And if you don't know, now you're going to know. If you don't know, yeah. yeah. Top down. Mm -hmm. So that's usually the order that we do things just to keep it easy. Uh, so we will start with a hair product. I think it's me. I have zero hair. I have a bunch of hair products. So I guess we'll go in order of application. Wonderful. Um, and I have talked about these before. These were actually sent to us. It is the Pros Shampoo and Conditioner. These are both actually formulated specifically for you after you take a little quiz uh, when you sign up and they formulate it for your environment. So they like look at your zip codes, <laughs> like environmental conditions, but also the um, how you report your hair is. So like I have dry, color treated, um, I have breakage, I have texture. Uh, and so they take all that into account when they formulate your shampoo and conditioner. And then you also get to choose the scent. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really enjoyed these begrudgingly enjoyed these if you watched me talk about them before because they're more expensive than the shampoo and conditioner I've bought in the past so I loved that I, I bought them I bought yeah, them she did I bought them again I'm using them again I really really like them the bottles are so small it made me really nervous I was like mm -hmm. they're so so expensive they're not that expensive but more expensive and they're so small but I use so much less I use so much less of these products, which I also think is magical. Um, so I usually use like three pumps, one, two, three. Before with conditioner, I was using like, like a, like a little poop, like a whole, like a ping pong ball. Yeah. It, okay. Like at least I was using a lot wow. of conditioner. I was like really using it and these just are so good. I will say I do double shampoo because I only wash my hair once a week. Yeah. The first shampoo gets like collects. I watched a whole, did you send me the TikTok about how shampoo works? So yes, <laughs> one side is this, the other side is this. Mike and yes. I would, I, sh I only double shampoo. I, yes. Yeah, so the double shampoo, we watched I'm a whole so TikTok about it. You, you sent it. it to me. I loved it. And it explained how soap molecules work and how they like both attract and Deter. repel water. And so like the first shampoo traps the grime and then the second shampoo actually washes it away. Of course, if you're washing your hair every day or more frequently, it's not, you don't need all that because you're getting rid of it. But yeah. Oh, fascinating. I just love learning things like that. I had a whole conversation with my old boss and my old coworker last night about TikTok and how I love watching it because I love learning things. Yes. And I, they like didn't it's really get just it. just dumb dances. Yes. God, I watched how chain link fence was made last night. Ooh. You want to see it? I do. <gasps> so simple. So fucking simple. But but also not. The way that the, the two halves, they slide next. Wow. I think they're like magnetized somehow. I love it. I love it. I know. Okay. Wow. wow. Your turn. Yep. Uh, my We're first 18 minutes into this fucking video, and we spent 17 of it talking about TikTok. Jesus Christ. My first item is a, an OTM favorite. It's mm. the Brow Lux Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Ash. This is so clean. Is it? Mm -hmm. It lasts me a, a ridiculous amount of time. For some reason, I don't know how I can make a brow pencil last as long as I do, but I can go like six months. Yeah, that's bizarre. I can't. It's so weird. This is the best brow pencil we've ever used. Great color matches. If you don't know what shade you are, you can reach out to them and they'll help you find one. It's a good waxy formula. It's not too stiff and not too emollient, so it doesn't slip and slide, but you can still put it on yourself. I've used brow pencils that are like so waxy you can't even really get the pigment down mm -hmm. and then it has a really great spoolie and I like it that both caps are the same size so you'll never break off your brow pencil like I've done a million times because you put the wrong side on the side put the wrong side on the side mm -hmm. uh it's great I love it they do send them to us they used to send them to us I've never bought a single one I bought my first one the other day. I love it. It was on Amazon. Yeah. It's fine. It, yeah, it's on Amazon. It's like under 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Dry shampoos. As I mentioned earlier, I only wash my hair once a week. I do avoid using dry shampoo as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it makes it so I, my hair feels dirtier sooner. 
Um, so typically I won't use a dry shampoo until like day five. Wow. Um, yeah. I also have particularly dry. I do not have greasy or oily yeah. hair, so it's something that I can get away with. Nice. Um, but the two that I have in my empties bin are the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo for light tones, mm -hmm. and then the Detox Dry Shampoo by Dry Bar in Coconut Colada. Nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought Coconut Colada because it was on sale. I like Dry Bar Dry Shampoo. The coconut colada was like a fun change. Will I ever seek it out specifically? Not really. It's fine. I yeah. like I like I know that dry bar dry shampoo is sort of in my top three dry shampoos. Um, the Moroccan oil dry shampoo for light tones. This specifically, when they say light tones, they really mean blondes mm -hmm. because it does have a purple tint to it. Um, I like it. I don't love the smell. Really? Yeah. It's not my favorite. I know you it. love it, but I don't love it. Um, but it's a really fine, it's a really fine mist. Um, I So I like that about it. Like it definitely doesn't leave your hair feeling gunky no. or dusty. Um, Would you say it leaves it feeling soft and silky? Yeah. I think it feels powdery. It feels yeah, it's lightweight. It, yes, it's very lightweight. And you can tell that it's a way finer powder than a lot of other dry shampoos. Specifically, like the one I always compare it to, which I think, because you can get it everywhere, is Batiste. Mm -hmm. um, that to me is a much heavier, a lot powderier, and comes out like an actual rocket. Whereas <laughs> this one is sort of like, and it's buildable. Yeah. So it's like when it first comes out, it might be enough, or it might if you have finer hair um, or less hair, you have one little pass is probably good. But for thicker or like more, just more hair, you can really build it up so that it's nice and dry. <laughs> yep. Nice and dry. Nice and dry. <laughs> Mm. I have been struggling hardcore with hormonal breakouts and I used to just cut up hydrocolloid band-aids and stick them on my face because pimple patches I just thought were too expensive but then I got really lazy mm -hmm. I just got really lazy and I just wanted something that was already to size mm -hmm. so I've been using the mighty patch originals by hero cosmetics or yeah hero cosmetics and all it is is a hydrocolloid band-aid in the shape of a zit and you just put it on your face. It's translucent. It pretty much blends into your skin, my skin anyways. And you sleep in it overnight. You could also go run errands if you needed to. I don't yeah. think anyone would really, unless someone is super staring at you, which back up. Um, Six feet. <laughs> right. Uh, they wouldn't notice. They wouldn't be able to detect it on your skin. Yes. And they are making one now. I get the original, but then there's one that's called invisible. So even less detectable on the skin, I'm assuming. Well, I was gonna say the one thing that I really like is um, I bought the ones from Patchology mm -hmm. and they have two types. And one is specifically for whiteheads mm -hmm. and then one is more for like those under cysts. The lurkers, yeah. yeah. And uh, they're, like you can tell they're a totally different texture yeah. and a different formula. But these are great if you have a whitehead. This is for whiteheads specifically. <laughs> it really does suck out the pus. That's what it is, okay? It's pus. And yeah, I, I think they work really nice. It's great for inflammation. I've already repurchased another one. I get them at Target. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the Ren Ever Calm, this was also sent to us. I have the Gentle Cleansing Gel and the Gentle Cleansing Milk. I will say I've never been more excited to be done with two products. Not because I didn't like them, oh. but because I had the okay. Origins um, cleansing foam milk. Checks and balances. Checks and balances and balance. waiting to start. Oh. So, okay, so I liked both of these, but I had an absolute favorite. That one. Yes, 100%. I found that the gentle cleansing gel, I just felt like I was rubbing gel on my face. Yeah, it's weird, it's and slippy. I, and I was like, how is this effective? Like, I don't want like a foaming anything, but the fact that it just is gel, stays gel, and then you just rinse it off your face. I, it feels like I'm putting like hair gel. It just feels ineffective. Yeah, I, I used it, I still have a lot left, but yeah. I use it in the morning. Yeah, it, I would say that's probably, like when I'm put, taking off makeup, this is not at all what I wanna use for, reach for, because it does not feel like it's taking off makeup. It is cleansing my face, but yeah. As, and then on the other hand, I loved this one. Mm -hmm. The Ren Gentle Cleansing Milk, I just felt like was so luxurious on, it was very, very silky feeling, creamy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't foam. The smell is fine. It's like a light, just a light, soapy, soft, milky. This yeah. one does smell a little bit milky. Milky. Milky what? Um, 
Yeah, I would repurchase. I would not repurchase. I would agree with that, actually. This one's just, I, it's fine, but I feel like you could buy a drugstore product and it would feel just the same or better. Loved this, but I just love checks and balances. This more. color is like my favorite right now. I just bought a nail polish mm -hmm. called Cucumber Sandwich. Mm. All in June. Of course. I bought nine. I saw. Nine. Well, I didn't count, but I saw that there were a lot. Speaking of Ren, you know, we'll just follow suit here. Mm -hmm. Last summer, they came out with a limited edition of their daily AHA tonic. So I really like the Ready Steady Glow, which is orange. It looks just like this. Oh, it's like uh -huh. AHAs and BHAs. It's a great toner. I'm using it now. This one was the summer version with organic cucumber. It was Ooh. the Ready Steady Glow with organic cucumber. The packaging was Love. divine. Adorable. I want wallpaper like this. Yes. There are ladybugs and fruits and vegetables and plants and butterflies. It's really beautiful. You know what it's kind of like? Willy Wonka. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanna I wanna do that sometime. Me too. It smells very cucumber peppery. Like I wanna oh. eat it. Like I wanna make a salad. Yeah, it smells like a summer salad. Yeah. That's so weird. It but it was great. I liked it. I couldn't tell the difference between good. this and the Ready Steady Glow. This was just limited edition. I happened to buy it and it was lovely. That's so peppery. Isn't it? This is a toner that I feel like I can put on my skin. It doesn't feel tick, ticky, sticky, <laughs> ticky -tocky? sticky and tacky. Sometimes toners can do that. And I don't love that feeling, but this feels very walk tree. It's a delight and their packaging is recyclable mm -hmm. and made from recycled materials. They're like zero waste, you guys. Zero? Yeah. Wow. By 2022, I think they said by the end of 2022, there'll be zero waste. That's amazing. The Pestle and Mortar Balance Fine Misting Facial Spritz. Yeah? Yeah. Eh? Eh. It wouldn't, was fine. Wouldn't rebuy it? Wouldn't rebuy it. I mean, I did really, I like, I mean, it's in this beautiful glass packaging. I liked it, but it just doesn't. I mean, the ingredients are aqua, oh, aqua, water, glycerin, <laughs> sea water extract, that means to me like salt. Salt water. Yeah, so it's like, why am I putting that on my face? I don't know. Yeah, and then it's a bunch of extracts. It was just fine. Did I it actually. Smoke it? It, well, I don't even remember. I'll be honest, I, I do like it that it's in a spray. Yeah. Because I'm a lazy bitch. I don't smell anything really. I don't either. Um, I like that it's in a spray, but I just felt like, I, I don't know, it never had any appeal to me to use it, even though it is in a spray and I love spraying things. Yeah. I found myself using it more like under my boobs and on my butt. If yeah. Anything. I get that. Um, it was just, and it's a little too expensive for me to, for a butt spray. This lip mm. balm has been a favorite for a very long time. I have others, so I haven't repurchased it in a very long time. <laughs> And I'm working through some that I really do love and enjoy, but this is one that I will come back to over and over again. It's the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. It's an overnight lip treatment. You can absolutely wear it during the day if you want. It doesn't have SPF, so be wary of that. It's a really thick balm, and I feel like when I put it on, it sinks in, but it's also still got a residue left when I wake up in the morning, which I mm -hmm. like. It mm -hmm. makes me feel like it's done something. I'm starting my day feeling nice and hydrated. What's up with this? Nothing. Nothing. I'm going in for another layer. <gasps> okay. I mean, it did get a little bit burny. Not no. burny. The first time I used it, my lips, I don't want to say doubled in size, but they got big. But maybe it's because you have something on underneath. I have this Itty Bitty Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. That's all I have. Okay. I've never liked a single Drunk Elephant product. Hated them all. Remember when it was all the rage? I haven't hate, I've never hated anything, but I have never been more than whelmed with them. I'm just like, they're fine. They're fine. I have not like nothing more to say. I've tried more products from Drunk Elephant and they just always are like, okay. Yeah, when they came out, I mean, their packaging is stunning. The color, the branding. Yeah, it was everywhere. Yes. But it worked, didn't they, didn't it turn out that all their reviews were fake? No, that was, um, that was Sunday Riley. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used up my Glossier mm -hmm. U perfume. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. It takes on a different scent on every person because you are the first ingredient. Uh -huh. It's just a really nice androgynous scented fragrance. Straight from a beaver's butt to Straight you. Straight from a beaver ass. 
to you. And I feel like it's a good layering perfume. Yes. So if I want to wear this, it's a little bit deeper, muskier on me. And then maybe sometimes I want to lighten it up or brighten it up. I can put a different fragrance on with it. And it always, it just always, mmm, mmm. Mm, mm. It just always turns out to be a really good concoction. I've never layered it with something and thought that ain't good. That ain't good. No? Oh. I do think oh, this is- I feel like there's, it's still in there. But it's gone off a little bit. Oh. Yeah, so I was really, mm. I had this for a couple years. Yeah. And I just felt like towards the end it was starting to smell different. And so there might be several uses left in there, but I can't use it anymore because it's just not what it was. I think my YSL Laham. Oh, of course. I will repurchase. Yes. It's beautiful too. It's beautiful. I love that stupid little dimple in it. Me too. Because it perfectly fits your hand. It's so thoughtful. Yeah. What mm -hmm. were you? Laham? What about it? Laham. Okay. It's gone off. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. It's, it's lost all of its depth and yeah. now it's just sweet. Ugh. See, that's why I always. Oh, it's so much. I have I've so much of it left. I've never been someone who likes to watch perfume videos because mm -hmm. I'm like, this is the definition of waste. Perfume goes bad quickly and you use so little of it, even if you use it every day. It would yeah. still take a considerable amount of time to use up a fragrance. Well, also, we got all those dossier ones, so I'm just, every Me morning too. now, I'm just literally like, Shh. I don't even look at it. I just pick it up and I do two of them. Pretty much, and then I try and rotate what's in the back into the uh -huh. front because I'm like, not. I have so many scents right now. Also, keep them out of sunlight. Sunlight makes them go off sooner. Yes. Um, the Milk Blur Liquid. I have this in the shade... Light. Oh. Something like that. It's some sort of light. Um, so this is their matte foundation yeah. and I am always, so I have a bunch of foundations so I, I usually dabble a little bit. You look, and, really, <laughs> you look really tan today. Thank you. And every time I go back to this one, I am always surprised at how medium to full coverage it is. Do you like it though? I really like it. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it oh. today. I have repurchased. It doesn't look overly matte at all. No, I don't think it's overly matte, but it is actually more coverage than I want on a daily basis. I forget that it's so, so, has so much coverage and I put it on like just to go to work and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's more than I, than I intended. Oh, I like the little dispenser. Oh, <gasps> that does feel nice, but you're right. That's right? a lot of coverage. And for some reason, I think just because in my mind, I associate milk with more like natural looking products. Yes. So I always think that this is going to be like a sheer coverage and then it's not at all. But I really so like... citrusy too. <sighs> oh yeah. I went all the way in there. She fucking does this. <laughs> the camera would have gotten it because you are down there um <clears throat> but yeah I, I really enjoy using it it I, sets itself uh yeah it just i just feel like it's yeah. so blurring and it covers my spots i really like this is as much coverage <laughs> as i would ever want um <coughs> i don't want more than this but i do tend to mix it with other foundations yeah. to to lighten it up a little bit and then also it's nice i kind of want to try it yeah finally used up the jumbo version of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I love this dearly and it's really kind of strange that I like it because the scent profile is that warm, vanilla-y, deep brown sugar pistachio scent, but it feels like a sophisticated version of it. And it doesn't uh -huh. ever leave me feeling like it smells cheap or fake and I think that's why I like it so much. It's the resort version. Yes. But apart from the scent, the cream itself is actually really, really nice. It's a great texture. It does leave me feeling hydrated all day long. I feel like the scent does linger. And sometimes when you pay a lot of money for a body cream, you kind of want that. Like I'm buying it for the scent. I'm happy that it moisturizes as well as it does, but I want that smell to continue to linger throughout mm -hmm. the day. And this does that. I would repurchase it. I don't know. It's just, I know it's a gimmicky product. I have tried and I am currently using uh, a dupe. It's not a dupe. Oh. Tree Hut came out with one called like Tropic Glow or something. I had tried the scrub and I hated it. I'm going to tell you right now what it smells like. What? 2006. Get your Playboy Bunny sticker ready. You're going to the tanny bed. Oh. You smell like a cheap uh, spring break slut. <sighs> you do. I mean, and I was a cheap spring break slut. I know what that smells like. Oh, my intern the other day. 
wrote me an email asking oh. asking off for spring break. Oh my god, she's still in college? Boy. Oh, he's still in college? He's still in college. It's his senior year. Where is he going? He turned 21 while he was in our office. It was adorable. Wow. Where is he going? I didn't ask. <clears throat> That's funny. Uh-huh. Spring break. Woohoo! Uh, okay, so then after the foundation setting spray. Did I give this to you? I think this came from you. Maven. <laughs> yeah, because Rose. Uh, yeah, it's an immediate. But I had no idea where it came from, so it had to have come from you. Subscription box. Maven, Rose Water Setting Spray. I used it, it's fine. I've never even heard of Maven. No, I don't even know where I would go and get it again. I don't also enjoy Rose scents that much. Like, you actively dislike them. I'm just kind of like ambivalent. I would never choose it, but if it finds its way, it's fine. Um,. I mean, I sprayed it on my face, and my makeup stayed. There you go. That's all you can really ask for. I can't tell you if spray. it stayed better or worse than any other setting spray. This one, I think, it, like, the sprayer's nothing special. It's a little... Um, it's a little wet. Wet wet or just wet? Mm, somewhere in between. Mm, wet wet. I have never... Have you ever purchased anything from Thrive Market? Never. I But I've looked... Okay, that was me for years. Because they have a nut butter I really like. Yes, I would add stuff to my cart and then I would never follow through because you have to buy a membership and I just mm -hmm. hate that. I think it's mm -hmm. so stupid. But I ended up doing it because I wanted my pistachio milk. Oh, I kind of want to get, then I might have to get in on your order once. And then I saw that they not only have food, they also have beauty products. Uh-huh. Lots of bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when bath salts were like a drug and people were going insane and like yeah. eating each other on them? I actually saw a TikTok the other day of a girl that was like one year ago today I was still addicted to bath salts and I was like, whoa, people are still doing that? Right. <laughs> Aren't they from a gas station? I think so. It was a big Florida thing. I don't get it. It's turning people into like cannibals. Remember? Yeah. Right. No, they like eat each other. Yes. <laughs> so weird. Specific. Also, I feel like that is a specific like cultural moment. Like you had to be there. Yes. <clears throat> Gen Z has no idea. I this this hair is not working today. Mine's not either, and it's clean. And I put a bunch of dirty shit Mine's in it, so and I'm pissed. Dirty. Mine's so dirty, <clears throat> and I thought I could make it work, and I just I just it's fine. It's fine. So I ordered several bath products in that Thrive order. And bath salts. Yes, but other things as well, mm. like not just salts. And I found two little, sa I ordered two little sachets of the Daughter of the Land bath soak. This is the Unwind Moon Milk. Of course I would fucking buy it. It's got goddamn cow lilies on it and it's called Moon Milk. But it reminds me of like sachets that uh -huh. my friend's mom used to have in like her sock drawer and stuff. Yes, or like in the bathroom uh -huh. basket with seashells. Uh -huh. And also like <laughs> soaps, tiny soaps. Yes. That you weren't allowed to use. Mm -hmm. So freaking stupid. So weird. Um, so I got two of these. These are not full size. I just ended up getting the two little guys to test it. I loved it. I will absolutely seek this brand out. I've never heard of it before. I don't think that they're very popular. But I really liked it because the salt smelled very sandalwoody mm. and vetiver -y to me. And it was perfect. So it has colloidal oat flour in it. Oh. Magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salts, avocado oil, lavender oil, and sandalwood oil. It was oh. the per. It was my perfect scent. You can't smell it now because it came in a sachet and I threw that away. Damn. The packaging is lovely. I think it's so adorable. It was like a whole experience. What? Compostable. Oh, compostable. Well, pretty soon I'll be doing that because I ordered an 82 gallon. Yes. Uh, can I bring my compost? Please. Over? I will literally feed start... my garden, baby. Uh -huh. oh, I will I'm literally excited. keep because I've always wanted to, but like yeah. I don't, I can't do it at my house. No, <gasps> I've wanted to forever too, and finally I was like, fuck, I'm buying that. I'm this here year. once a week. I could literally just bring my little bin and toss it in your compost. God, I love it. Yeah. Save all your eggshells. Hell oh. yeah. You know how many eggs I eat? Me too. Oh, I'm really excited. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get save one of those this. cute little buckets. <clears throat> cute. Mm -hmm. Nice. I have a collection of mascaras. So mascaras, I am always on the hunt for mascara. I don't like any of them. I really think it's my eyelashes and not the mascaras, but like I just am never happy. So she's gotta what, get new eyelashes. So like, would I repurchase any of these? No, that's the that's long story short. Wow, well yeah, cause they're all expensive. So it's like if you hate a mascara, you may as well spend less. I'll start Thrive Cosmetics. This one, um, my friend's mom gave me. She, she said it was the best mascara she'd ever used. Um, I did not feel that way. So it's got the really scary, rubbery, pokey wand, which to me, 
I don't re I didn't realize how many times a day I guess I stab myself in the eye with a mascara wand, but you fucking know when it's made out of this. But I thought it smelled weird. Very I intense. actually think well, I think it smells weirder now because it's been sitting. But um, I think this one actually made my eyes irritated. To me, when I see people talk about this mascara, I it is akin to a cult for me. I feel like the people who are pushing like beauty counter yeah. are pushing this Thrive mascara and I just don't want to try it. I, that's not on my algorithm so I'd never even, I'd never even heard of this before. I didn't know that it was like that. I'm pretty sure she gets it off of Amazon though. Oh nice. Um, but I actually do think that this one made my huh. eyes irritated if I remember correctly. I feel like I would put it on and I think it's the fragrance or whatever. Oh. It would like just make my eyeballs feel like annoyed. And then I have the Marc Jacobs, what is this, Atlash? Yep, Atlash. Blacker Atlashed Mascara. <laughs> I actually remember really, really liking this one. Did but I? they're gone, so it, right, it doesn't point. even matter. And then these two actually came in a set of three that I bought at like Christmas time, I think, last year. Yeah. Um, I finally cracked these open. I've tried the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes before. It's fine. Nothing to report. I think I actually fucking hated this. The Big Ego Mascara. It's got a massive wand. This fucking packaging. I hate it. It makes me feel like a child. Oh, well, I've never even, I've never taken those things off. I didn't know you could. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, mine's never come off before. I like the brush. But they just like, whatever. They were whatever. That to me is just weird. My whole, my, one of my biggest issues, one, I have very short blonde lashes, but also, I guess just the way that my eyes and cheeks or whatever, <laughs> I end up with a lot of mascara on, on my lower lid. And I think both of these transferred a lot. Oh. Um, so that's something I'm constantly <laughs> battling and these were not good. I think really what it is is I need waterproof mascara, but then I feel like then I have to take it off. And when I take it off, I'm ripping my eyelashes out. Do you like the surfer curl one? Because that also came in it. No. Oh. I think I'm done. I'm done too. Oh. Yep. Wow, it took us a really long time to get started and then it was over. Yep, there we go. Lickety split. Done in a flash. <gasps> Speaking of lickety split. Where, I, where, do you know where that phrase comes from? Because I don't. No. But oh, okay, I thought you were going to tell me like a TikTok tell, told Mike me. and I are on episode 7 of Ozark. Look at these splits is the strip club. Also, I'd love to, okay, so after we hang up, I'm going to okay. find out why it says, like, like where that term came from, because that's a curious one. It's got to be something from, like, the 20s, I feel like. Yeah. Look at these split. Look at these split. Yeah. <laughs> if you know where the term look at split came from, leave it in a comment. Do you babes need anything from the store? Do you babes need anything from the store? Ugh, no, come home ASAP, ready to go, baby. Do you want to pay for lunch? Mm -hmm. We do, but I don't think it's that giant. Oh my God, is it at McDonald's? I don't no, know. No, we haven't even talked about we it. We haven't talked about it, babe. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate you though, so You're much. Welcome. Love bye you, bye. bye. Do you babes need anything from the store? Ugh, immediately what? He's been my real favorite lately. I, honestly, I feel I'm like so I'm being happy right now. With. Okay, so like, comment, and subscribe. Doesn't Sorry. Doesn't matter. Um, Listen to our podcast because it's back, baby. It is back. I have another episode ready to go. I'm excited. The plan is for Mondays to be the upload day. We're going to see. Start your week with OTM, baby. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, just get your cup of coffee, turn on your computer, get ready. Start your day, Monday mornings. I agree. Listen to us on your commute when we know that you will. Uh-huh. Just a little cheer up. Just a little cheer up. You can listen to our podcast the way that sometimes I watch our own bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> God, I do it too. Yeah. because I it, love it. Uh, you know how I know that it's a good video if I think we're funny? Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, okay, other people will think oh, we're funny. Mm -hmm. Or crazy. Sometimes Both. people say you guys are insane. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we appreciate it very much. Yep. And, oh... Share our videos. You can do that too. Oh yeah, that's like the biggest thing you can do for our, our reach. Uh huh. Watch our last engagement. Video. That was yeah. the word I was looking for. Last video. Next video. All the videos. Season. Thank you. You've got nothing but time. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> all the days. The greatest. These are the days of our lives. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Cut it. Cut it. Want to smile? I'll put trash around us. Wait, let me um get a little color on there because I don't have any lips right now.